comes to your mind when we say a perfect cover drive? Is it Barat Kohli? We've seen many players playing the iconic cover drive, but none is like Kohli. It's the story of a young boy equipped only with a dream and a cricket bat. Kohli's rise has been extraordinary, from his early days in local cricket clubs to making his mark in international cricket. But how did young Kohli take his first steps towards cricket? Past now for the Indians. Early life and background. Born into a Punjabi family at Delhi's Uttam Nagar on November 5, 1988, Virat Kohli was the youngest of three children, with an elder brother, Vikas, and an elder sister, Bhavna. His father, Prem Kohli, was a criminal lawyer, and his mother, Saroj Kohli, was a devoted housewife. The Kohli household blended traditional values and modern aspirations, where education was valued as much as personal passions. From the young age of just three years old, Kohli showed interest in cricket. This was a deep-rooted passion that would shape his entire life. Recognizing their youngest son's talent and dedication, Kohli's parents supported his cricketing activities while ensuring he remained grounded in his studies. Kohli's schooling began at Vishal Bharti Public School, Delhi. He was fond of history. Mathematics, however, was a challenging subject for him. Despite the familial emphasis on education, Kohli's heart was always set on the cricket field. He moved to Savior Convent School in Pasham Vihar in ninth grade to better focus on his cricket. This move was a strategic step to align his education with his growing focus on cricket. As Virat Kohli spent more and more time playing cricket, he found it harder to keep up with his schoolwork. Ultimately, after finishing 11th grade, he decided to leave school. This big decision showed how serious he was about his cricket. One to 90 or 100, how many ever balls you play, or test matches you play a lot more. What were you doing for all those days? In 1998, recognizing his son's passion for the game, his father enrolled him in the West Delhi Cricket Academy. He was just nine years old, but under the coaching of Raj Kumar Sharma, Kohli's natural talent quickly shone through. His coach was impressed by the young boy's dedication and skill. Kohli also began playing matches at the Sumit Dagra Academy in Delhi, laying the groundwork for his future successes. Here he polished his skills, each match a step closer to his dream. Rise and Fame The real turning point came in the 2002-2003 Pali Umrigar Trophy. Playing for the Delhi Under-15 team, Kohli just dominated, becoming the highest run scorer with 172 runs at an average of 3440. This performance catapulted him into the limelight. Recognized for his talent and leadership potential, Kohli was named captain for the next Pali Umrigar Trophy season in 2003-2004. Under his captaincy, the team won the trophy. Kohli then progressed to the Delhi Under-17 team, participating in the 2003-2004 Vijay Merchant Trophy. Kohli again led this scoring with 470 runs across four matches. His outstanding performance was a sign that he was an emerging cricket superstar. In 2006, Kohli took a major step forward, debuting in the Ranji Trophy for Delhi against Tamil Nadu. This was his introduction to higher level cricket. His first match may not have been his best performance, but it was a start. Virat Kohli, captain, right hand middle order batsman, right arm quick bowler, and my favorite cricketer is Herschel Gibbs. In the same year, Kohli faced a tragedy with the passing of his father. 
However, he played an important Ranji Trophy match against Karnataka the next day and scored 90 runs, showcasing his mental strength in the face of hardship. Consistent and impressive performances secured Virat Kohli a place on the India Under-19 team for the 2006 Tour of England as his T20 debut. At this point, it was clear that Virat Kohli was a rising star destined for greatness. Kohli's early experiences clearly set him up for future triumphs. Career Highlights and Achievements in August 2008, Kohli made his debut in international ODI cricket. Despite a modest beginning, he soon hit his stride, scoring his first ODI half-century against Sri Lanka. This momentum continued into 2009, where he earned his first Man of the Match award and notched his maiden ODI century, followed by another in 2010. <laughs> well, he can connect the phone and he gets it uh, from Mr. Sudhir Hasija. He gets a man of the match check. 2011 marked a significant year for Kohli. He started with a bang, scoring a century in his World Cup debut. Later that year, he joined the test squad for the West Indies Tour. Although he faced some initial challenges, he bounced back during the Tour of Australia where he scored his first test century. He gets there. Fifth hundred in one day internationals for Pirat Kohli, second against Bangladesh. In 2012, Kohli became the vice captain for the Asia Cup and set a new record with a score of 183 runs against Pakistan. Kohli's record breaking didn't stop. And in 2013, he scored the fastest ODI century ever by an Indian player. There is a standing ovation for him as he walks back to the pavilion. It's a terrific catch, terrific innings, 183. In 2014, Kohli became the Indian Test Squad champion and delivered impressive scores in Australia. The following year, he was the fastest batsman to make a thousand T20 international runs. Continuing his dominant form, by 2017, Kohli had scored 2,818 runs. That same year, MS Dhoni resigned from captaincy and Kohli took over in all formats. As captain, Kohli excelled, becoming the first batsman to hit six double hundreds. 2018 brought more achievements. In August, he reached the top of the ICC test rankings, the seventh Indian to do so. That year, he also set a new record as the first Indian captain to hit three consecutive centuries in ODIs, scoring 593 runs, the most by an Indian in a losing series. If Kohli's journey and achievements impress you, hit the like button, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories like this. Now, Kohli reached the top spot, broke records for consecutive centuries, and became the fastest to score 10,000 ODI runs. While India's win ratio under Kohli's captaincy was impressive, the 2021 T20 World Cup brought a setback. After the 2021 T20 World Cup, Kohli made a significant decision in September 2021. He stepped down as the T20 captain. Rohit Sharma took over the role, becoming the captain. The leadership changes didn't stop there. In December 2021, Kohli also resigned as the ODI captain. Then, in a move marking the end of an era, he stepped down from the test captaincy in January 2022. Obviously, I want to score runs for the team, and I want to take Indian cricket forward, and that's my only move. While Virat Kohli on the cricket field is remarkable, his life off the field is equally rich and inspiring. Personal life. Kohli has made big steps in his personal life and charity work. 
In 2013, Kohli laid the foundation for his charitable work by establishing the Virat Kohli Foundation. His mission through the foundation was to uplift underprivileged children, particularly through sports, reflecting his commitment to giving back to the community. 2013 was also an important year for Kohli's personal life. It was the year he started dating Bollywood actress Anushka Sharma. Despite their busy careers, their relationship grew, leading to their wedding in Florence, Italy, on December 11th, 2017. They celebrated a new chapter in their life with the birth of their daughter, Mamaka, on January 11th, 2021. These events show a different side of Kohli. Not just a great cricket player, but also a man who values his family and personal life. Legacy and off-field ventures. Virat Kohli is doing more than just cricket. He's starting a business to invest in sports and fitness, including a football team called FC Gao in the Indian Super League. He's also known for working with big brands. I'm saying that I'm going to start a foundation. It basically, um, the main um, idea or the priority always has been to help the underprivileged. Kohli works with Puma, a famous sports brand, helping them make better sports gear. He's also with Mintra, a big online fashion store, showing he knows about style too. Kohli is the face of MPL, Mobile Premier League, a popular gaming app. He also supports Tootsie, a dental care brand, and Kohli is connected with Audi, the luxury car. Every company he works with shows a different side of him. A sports star, a style icon, and a smart businessman. Kohli is more than a cricket player. He's making a big impact in many areas. Outro. As we conclude Virat Kohli's remarkable cricket career, from his record-breaking achievements to his commitment to social causes, Kohli's story is one of passion and perseverance. Now we want to hear from you. Share in the comments which part of Coley's story inspires you the most. Keep chasing your dreams and aim high, just like Coley. Stay inspired and see you in the next video.